face, yes. then why can't he see behind him? So in Christianity, God is without form. He can see everything up. You I'm read the verse very poor, yeah. poor okay. because my Arabic is not good. وَإِذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى مَنِ مَرْمَ اذْكُرْ نِعْمَتِي عَلَيْكَ وَعَلَى وَالِدَتِكَ إِذْ أَيَّتُكَ بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ تُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ قُدُس, what does that mean? Yes, the, the context here in Islam, in Quran, Ruh al-Qudis, it can be the Holy Spirit, or it can refer the Ruh uh, al-Qudis, Angel Jibreel. If it means the first bit, Yes. Some scholars believe that when God spoke about His Holy Spirit, He's speaking about Himself. When God was second, so God is spirit in Islam. God has no form. No, in Islam, God is not spirit. God is not without form. No, in Islam, we don't believe God is flesh and God is, is spirit. God is without form in Islam. We, without form. Let me formless. explain to you. No, let me explain to you. In Islam, we don't believe God is spirit. We don't believe God is flesh. God looks like He's human. But his creatures, but God in Islam, let's say Allah told us that he's, he has a face. But his face, I understand. I'm, I'm telling you about Islam. I, I believe the same yeah. thing. The same way he has a hand, but, but he doesn't really have a hand. No, but we way. don't know. No, we believe God has, face, has a face, but we don't know his face, how his face looks like. That's something okay. else. Because so now you learn a new, thing, a new thing. No, no, no. Because if we say he has a face, yes. then why can't he see behind him? So in Christianity, God is without form. He can see everything. No, but because that's, he doesn't have a face. that's your doctrine. But that according to the Bible, God has that's physical fine. image. Sorry, Siraj. I, yes. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So here for me, yeah. there's a mention of God's Holy Spirit. Yes. And we've said that the Quran is God's word, but it was eternal. It's always existed. According to Islam, some scholars in Islam, you're not the getting. Quran has always existed. You're not getting the point. Now, before I ask you, this Quran, which came first, Allah or the Quran? According to Islam, you tell me. Allah was existed. Without Allah, how can the Quran exist? There's a teaching in Islam that the Quran always existed. You're not getting the point. There's a difference me saying Quran existed. And there's a difference me saying Allah existed before the Quran. Do you understand the point? I get your point. Thank you. I, it's just any not, other question it's, it's not Islamic teaching for some Islamic scholars. Any Muslim now, you can go to any Muslim and ask them which existed first, Quran or Allah. Then I will come to you next week. Okay, any other you question you have? Islamic scholars. I can give you the hadith now, what Prophet said. Prophet said Allah existed before anything. Siraj, I'm, Al -awwal. I'm, not, I'm not as good as you. Okay, any so other question? Back. So now, That's your third. Yeah, Two now, more. My fourth question. Fourth. Yes. So, can you, as a person, yes, if you are not without thought, if your brain is not thinking, can you be alive? If I'm not thinking, some people their brain is not functioning, but they're still alive. Can you be alive, functioning when your brain isn't alive? If your brain, my brain is not functioning. Then that means I cannot do I cannot your, do anything by your myself. Your brain dead. Yes, dead. Because I need help because so I'm mentally sick. The fact that you're alive yes. means that your brain is alive. Yes. When a child is born, is their brain alive? Their brain is alive. Is there a time that someone can be themselves without their brain being alive? Their thoughts? If your brain is not alive and you're, you're dead. You're dead. Then In Christianity. Yes. The understanding for us yes. of the Word of God yes. is this ability to think that God has. Yeah. But God took that yeah. and showed it to us on earth, yes. but it never left God. So the Father sent the Son. Come, sister, stay here. That, that, Let's see if he's going to answer. He didn't answer yes. We're going to get to that one. That's what she wants. The sisters, they are very curious to, um, to get this question. So in Christianity, yes. in the same way that we can't ever be without our mind, our thoughts, yes. and still be alive, yes. and that we can never be beginning, yes. except that we have a mind that has thoughts. Yes. In Christianity, Jesus and the Spirit are the thoughts and the words of God. When we say word, we don't mean just the word. We mean his ability to think. So in Christianity, there is no time that God was without his thinking. 
in Christianity, there is no time that God was without his mind, his spirit. Uh -huh. Come. Are you coming here next week? We'll see, we'll see. Let's yeah. get to his I'm we'll inviting you, but they are here to uh, you to answer your, your my question. question. But so, remind me what the question is. My question is, do you believe we all have the same God? According to your belief. Do Christians all have the same no, God? No, I'm who's saying... You, who's you? No, I'm saying, according to Christian's doctrine, belief is that we all humans have the same God, yes? There is only one God who runs the whole universe Thank and you. he's the same God. So that God is how many? Um, God wait, wait, the Father. Is that your fourth question? No, I'm asking that. My question is still coming. It's the ones you want. The sister coming? ones. Okay, yes. Come so, on. so we said all Christians, the Christian's doctrine is we all have same God. There and is one God that created and that God and runs is the universe and that God is one. God the Father. In the same way that I have no, I understand. No, I understand that one. Mind no, I understand that one. And so our God, you believe, is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three yes? persons in okay. one God. Okay. What if some of us here, his God is not three persons in one? Is that person wrong or right? Other people have got... No, no. According to your belief, that's what I'm asking you. They've, Let's say now my God is only one. They've got a very poor understanding of God in the same so, way that in the Old Testament no, no. they were, used to worship stones and rocks. And no, trees. I'm not asking you that one. I'm, I'm asking you. you. No, I'm asking Many you. Many people have Are a wrong understanding okay. of God. Is it wrong to say someone's God is only one person? Is it not... wrong for someone who believes in many gods like the, the Romans and the Greeks? No, I'm not Are asking you believing in many gods. No, they're, they're wrong totally. They're, they're wrong totally. But what I'm asking you is, let's say now me my, my, by myself, now I'm here. Yeah? Your God is three persons in one, yes? But my God is only one. It's not three persons in one. Am I wrong or am, am I right? Which one do you think? An understanding of God as three in one is the perfect understanding of who God is. So if I believe my God is one, I'm wrong, You're yes? Not understanding the fullness of who God is. That means if I believe my God is one person, like say one you're not understanding the fullness of who God is. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying you're not seeing the fullness of who God is. Okay, thank you. So now you say to me, you judged me by saying, if I say my God is only one, not three persons in one, that means you said I'm not understanding the fullness of God. Perfect. Thank you. So now I'm asking my, my question, the one she wants. The, the sister is question. here. The key question is here. And who is the way? Jesus, we know yeah, that one, yes? So now I'm asking, Jesus has a God. In the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 17, Mark, the Gospel of Mark, God chapter 12, God and Mark, chapter 12, verse 29, he said, O Israel, the Lord, our God, our God, the Lord is one. Also, Deuteronomy, Moses oh, said wait, wait, this, 6, chapter 6, verse, verse 4. Again? Which verse? That verse again? Which, which verse? In the Old Testament, the verse that Jesus is quoting about the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Yes. In Hebrew, it says, Shema Israel, Adonai, uh -huh. Eloheinu, uh -huh. Adonai yes. is one. Yes. How many times is God mentioned? Three times. Adonai, Ilahna, Adonai is one. And what so are you trying to say? Even in the Old Testament, they had an understanding that they, what God wanted to show them the fullness of Trinity. That one. You Shema can't... Israel. They would repeat it from childhood, before every meal, before they went to sleep. Shema Israel is called the Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Now you're using the logic. Let me come to your logic now. You said, it says three times, God, God, Lord. Yes? Then you said that means what? Trinity. So now that means if your son comes to you and says, Father, 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 three times, does that mean his father is three persons in one? No, no, it's just different. That's logic. your sorry, logic. Sorry, you've got something here. Can I take it off you? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, I That's your logic. Anyways, no, no, okay. That's different logic. That logic, okay, I can, I can, I can refute by using another verse of the Bible. Jesus said, "I'm going to my God and your God, my Father and your Father." Okay. How many? One Father. Is there three? No, there's only one Father. One, one Father. Who is that Father? God the Father. Yes. Is that the Son? No. The is that the, okay? Is that the Holy Spirit? We don't differ. Okay, is that the Holy Spirit? No, in this verse. Is no. that the Holy Spirit? No. no, he's the Father. Okay, so in this verse, Jesus claimed to have a God. So now my question is here now coming. 
So who is the God of Jesus? Three past, uh, is the God of Jesus God the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? Choose one. In that verse, yes. who is the God Jesus, of Jesus? Jesus the Word is referring to God the Father. In another no. verse he no. says... Who is the God of Jesus? No, Repeat saying, for me. I'm answering your question. In that verse, who is the God Jesus, of Jesus is saying God was his... Uh, the Father is his God in the same way because he's a, a human and God at the same time. My creator Thank you. of my human flesh Thank you. is God. But Thank my you. Father now you're coming heard, to the point. This is no, what no, the no, sister Habibis. wants. You okay. have to listen to what I'm saying. Okay, I'm listening. Sorry, so, Habibis. Wait, wait. This he's he's exactly to finish. He, did when I was he wants to finish. Wait, 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 wait. Please wait. wait. Exactly. Wait, wait. Right. The sisters are here waiting to hear. So in the same way that he's uh -huh. saying. The sister is here. By the way, when do we need He's not answering yet. Listen, you see, no one Christian can answer. Bring any pastor you can ask. No, 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 if any Christian answer this question, if yeah, you the answer, I will be your slave. He he did. No, he didn't answer. He did okay, I'm repeating. Josh, I listen, don't want you to be my slave. I said I'm asking again. Listen, who is the God of Jesus? No Christian can answer. Who is the God of Jesus? Who is the God of Jesus? Yes, is it the God, the in Father, verse, or the Son, or the Holy Spirit? No, no, in that verse, it's very clear. Who is the God of Jesus? Jesus is referring to the Father. Okay, who is in the God of Jesus? Verse, he says to them, if you know me, you know the Father. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Jesus said, no one has seen God the Father. And he says, but if you've In the Gospel seen me, of John, chapter then, 5, then, verse 37. And that he says... So you're contradicting. Is it me or is it, I'm quoting Jesus it. himself said to said, John, do you know what John seen, Jesus said to John? You, said, you have not seen God, but you have not heard his voice. Carry on the verse. He says, but if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. No. Do you know why he said context? Yeah, there is no point. I know. No, I now you're not answering. You diverted the topic. No. As you wish. I just asked ask you, Siraj, who is the great. God of Jesus? And I answered your question. Who is the God of Jesus? Repeat. I want the camera to hear, please. Who is the God of Jesus? But we will repeat Why are Christians are scared to answer? Ten times. Okay, now let's, let, let's let the camera hear. Yeah, Who is the God of Jesus? Siraj, I will make sure I meet you next week. Okay, now. But I want to thank you for your time. Okay, let me conclude, yeah. Thank you that you gave okay. me a chance to answer my question. Thank you. No, you didn't answer. Well, okay, children. let's say you said the God of Jesus. You have children. No, I don't have. I need to pick up my child. Okay, no worries. No worries. We'll okay. Next, we'll next but week. are you coming here next week? Yes, God So, morning. but I want you to answer. Life. You said, if my God is three persons in one. I've got bad memory. Write down where we left off. And then we'll but you didn't on. answer my question yet. We'll get there. And yes? you can answer mine as well. Thank no, you, I just asked who, who is the God of Jesus. I answered you. Is it one person or three persons? The God of Jesus. Is it one person or three persons? God, uh, as Son, has the Father and the Holy Spirit. No, whoa, whoa. equal Trinity. You're not getting the point. I, I said know. Jesus claimed to have a God. So now I'm asking, according to the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 17, who is the God of Jesus? We'll is continue, it the Son, we'll the Holy this. Spirit, or God the Father? We'll Just answer. This for the is that difficult? Next week, because it's a big, long question. But the answer is what? God the Father is the God of Jesus. So now my and question Jesus is, said, why you God? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Jesus said you and have not said, seen. Before Abraham Jesus, was, I that, am. No. And they picked up stones to stone him. The context of that verse. shows verse. that the Jews knew that he was claiming to Shall I explain to, to you that verse, the context? You'll explain it to yes. me? Shall I explain brother, to you? Explain it to me next week. Shall I explain I to you? To come go. one more. No, come on. One, one more time, brother. Thank you. Okay. So now, Christians, every time I'm challenging all Christians, and I'm asking every time, wherever they are around the world, the five continents, continents or six continents, Christians, if you believe Jesus is the way and the truth, and the God of Jesus is only God the Father, but the Christians, your God, Christians, your God is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you, at the same time you say to us, we all have same God and that God contains God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. But the God of Jesus is not God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. That means the God of Jesus is same as the God of Islam, the God of Muslims. Same as the God of Moses. The God of Moses is not three persons in one. The God of David is not three persons in one. The God of Ezekiel is not three persons in one. The God of Isaiah is not three persons in one. All of them, their God, even Jews, God is one, not three persons in one. So now what I'm asking is, who is the way and the truth, Christians? 
Is it prophets? Are they prophet? Are the prophets the way? All oh, Christians are the way. If Christians are the way, then that means God lied to His prophets by believing to be Him to be in only one, not three persons in one. And yet, at the same time, Christians they say Jesus is the way and the truth. If Jesus is the way and the truth, why do you have different God than the God of Jesus? And you telling me Jesus only worshipped God the Father. He did not worship the Holy Spirit. He did not worship Jesus the Son, the divine nature. You claimed Jesus had two has two natures: God nature, divine nature, and the Son na and human, human nature. nature. If Jesus has human nature, did Jesus worship the divine nature of Jesus Himself? The answer is no. So who is right and who is the way? Christians, you do not have the Holy Spirit to guide you because you have different sects and you do not know which sect is the truth. In Islam, Prophet Sallallahu told us the safest sect is the one who follows the methodology of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and his companions. But Christians tell us who is the way, who is the truth, the correct sect of Christianity, and which versions of the Bible is the correct, which version. Because as I said, Romans Catholic Bible is 675 books, Protestant 76 books, Coptic 75 books, and Syria, Syriac version, 61 books. Greek Orthodox Bible, 80, it's got 86 versions and books. Orthodox, God have 88 books. So which books did the disciple write down the unknown disciples? Even the disciples are unknown. And I mentioned this many times. Jesus also quoted from Old Testament. Who is that's not Jesus speaking, that's unknown authors. I said the Gospel of John chapter 7 verse 38. Jesus quoted from Old Testament. And what he quoted is not found in Old Testament. Also the Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 44 to 46. Jesus said that as is mentioned and it's written in the prophets, Moses, Psalm, and all of them. He said that Messiah, the Messiah will suffer and will be ra raised the th on the third day. If you go to Old Testament, you cannot find that verse. It's anonymous. Strange person, a stra and strange person, strange person wrote down that verse. Also, the Gospel of Luke and Matthew chapter. 2 verse 23 Matthew quoted from Old Testament is not found there also the gospel of Matthew again chapter 27 verse 9 is not found in the in the Old Testament also again the gospel and and also Paul and Paul also quoted from Old Testament 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3 to 4 so Christians I'm asking which Bible is the correct one and which version is the correct one? Why some versions are only available in King James Version and other versions are removed if all of them are inspired by God. But the Quran, if you go around the world, Quran is the same one book. We read the same book. The Christians think we have different Quran. We don't have different Quran. It's dialect. The dialect is different. But same Quran, same chapters same context same prophets same story same rulings aqulu hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum innahu huwal ghafurur rahim